so welcome back everyone as you can see by the state of the garden uh, we actually got a lot of snow surprisingly um, pretty much out of nowhere uh, from a cold look at how much it is on top of the aviary um, but yeah uh, the temperatures right now are below freezing um, I think it's during daytime negative 5 celsius so I wanted to make a video about um, obviously the water in the drinks um, freezes so I wanted to make a video on how we take care of that um, as you can see right there there we actually do have some um, warmth elements in the, in the water right now let me just see if I can grab it. Looks like it didn't help too much. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, uh, it looks like it froze pretty hard this night, tonight. Or the element isn't working. But I'm not sure. It's plugged in right there. Maybe not. It should be working but yeah anyways we have this um, stove right here it's an electric stove it works to it electricity only so we just plug it in right there and then power function and it should be heating it we put this in last night and it's like two centimeters of frozen ice so obviously I do did this before I start feeding them so now we're gonna start feeding them um, there's an element in that as well yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not frozen. Let's have a look. Yeah, this isn't frozen. It's actually not that warm, but... I can tell why it wouldn't be frozen. That's actually a mouse trap. And we have another warmth element in here as well. Let me just close it up. Feed these guys. Take a look at the water. If it wants to go. Yeah, seems like this one was working a little bit better as well. And obviously this one is the closest one to the door, so might not be working um, so we got this going it actually smells a little bit burnt because it hasn't been turned on in a while but it should be going well in a little bit let's just grab a little bit more for the young birds These guys should have a water element as well. Yeah, there it is. Um, let's start off by feeding them a little. 
Um, I don't know I'm, how I'm going to do this. I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit. So I just put some feet in the tray. Let me just turn the light on. Um, let's check out this water. Looks like, yeah, this one's different. Um, we have these elements to put in the water and we have these little plates this one's nice and warm I think the plates work a little bit better um, this isn't a warm loft at all uh, the other one is a little bit warmer but yeah as you can tell by the floor um, we did put chalk in, on the floor because um, it was getting a little bit wet obviously the conditions aren't optimal uh, looks like it even snowed a little bit inside I don't know yeah looks like it might have come from there I think the little um, tube on the top has to lead off again yeah looks like it so this one's water is nice and warm it doesn't take that long I'm not gonna put my hand in there but Yeah, I'm just gonna put it inside of this one, I think. So yeah. So I just put the water in there. Let's see if I can thaw out the ice in this one. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna put my hand in there yet because it's pretty warm. But yeah, I think it's thawing out pretty nicely. So, since the water is still warm, um, and since my grandfather's brother did pass away, we have to take care of his pigeons as well. And we don't have enough warming elements for his loft. So I gotta pour some water in them, pour some warm water over them. Let's see, this one should be frozen. I'm actually surprised at how dry this lot still is. Yeah, look, look how frozen that this guy is. Just gonna pour some over that. Uh, I think it should be cold enough to touch. Yeah. Pretty decent. So, we did actually get a lot of wind as well. That's why some of these um, get some snow through the cracks of the door. This loft is all, always a little bit more wet. One of these old guys actually hurts their leg. Yeah, the one sitting closest. I don't know what happened, but he did hurt his leg. Maybe a little bit much. Yeah, I think that's going to thaw out pretty good. Um, yeah, these guys also need to have some food still. So 
let's just grab some it should be by it here so I, uh, I also need to show you guys something else um, I'll just get these guys fed so so I just got on feeding them let's go outside again and as you can tell or can't um, the little tiny black loft that was right here um, got actually taken by some of our friends in the club since yeah you know we don't need it anymore they came and got it it's been quite heavy for such a small loft but and it wasn't rotten at all um, which actually surprised me because it's uh, it's been there for like 10 years outside so let's check on these guys what it looks like Oh yeah, my bad. I put in this cable for the heater. Um, yeah, they also need to have food still, so let me just grab some. As you can tell by this feed, um, these guys don't have children or have kids anymore, so. Let me just turn the light on. So they don't need the really fat rich feed. Um, we did thin it down a lot, um, a lot less corn in it, a lot less big stuff, as we call it. Um, these guys will be flying soon, so you need to prepare them, put them on a diet. Um, way before the season actually starts so they can thin down a bit which will be starting right now actually started to last week so yeah this is the new feed let me just put it in the box so I just put the feed in uh, they're feeding nicely so let's check the water on this one should be yeah this are quite hard to open one handed. Looks quite nice. Get this better out. These, these ones do have a eating plate. So, not going to add water um, since everything's frozen. We're gonna get some fresh water from the, the inside in the evening. Mm, yeah. So I think I forgot one, one loft, so we're gonna do them now. Let's close this up. It's quite hard to close with all this wiring going on. Yeah, there we go. Let's see that I don't slip on the stairs because they're covered in ice as well so yeah I did put some water in these already and I only need to add some feed yeah this ice is now thin enough where they can drink it so yeah I actually wanted to show you guys something else. Um, these are the two little figuara pigeons or whatever they're called. So those guys have a nest down there. Those are gonna be two tiny figuara pigeons. Hopefully they grow up nicely. But yeah, that's gonna be that. So hope you guys enjoyed this little winter feeding and drinking video. Um, it's a lot harder to take care of pigeons in the winter than it is in the summer but yeah that's for everyone the same so yeah i would like to thank you guys all for watching and as always have a nice day